Hi, I'm Jim Stout, and we're going to take a look at the new Roland Cloud TB303. Now, if you're already a subscriber to the Roland Cloud, you can just install the TB303 from the Roland Cloud Manager. But if you don't have a Roland subscription, go to rolandcloud.com, click the Sign Up Here button, and then down here, you can select Give Me a 30-Day Trial. So this will give you 30 days of the complete Roland Cloud collection, and you can try this stuff out for yourself. Let's hear the new Cloud TB303. Here it is. I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can see everything easier. We'll zoom it up to 200. So here is the Roland TB303, a very familiar layout, but I'm sure you're excited to hear it. Now, the 303 will automatically lock to your DAW, or it can run independently by hitting the Run Stop button. You have 64 pattern locations that you can choose from, and you also have 64 patch locations. You can scroll through them using the arrow keys, or you can select them from a drop-down window. If you have a Roland TB03 or a TB3, you can automatically set these controls to map to those instruments. And if you don't have either one of these, don't fret, you can use any controller you want to control these parameters. So let's take a look at the two keyboard modes. When the keyboard mode button is lit, you can play the 303 from your MIDI controller or another MIDI device. When you turn off the keyboard mode, now you can actually trigger the eight variations uh, from your controller keyboard with a MIDI note number. So let's hit start. And you can run through all the different, different variations starting at C1. Next to the variations, you have the shuffle. So you can swing the 303. So next to shuffle, you've got the scale. You've got eighth note triplets, 16th note triplets, the standard 16th note, and then 132nd. So you can double time things. So over here, you've got the play mode. You can play it forward, reverse, forward, and reverse, invert it, or you can make it random. So when you click edit, you're going to notice that you've got the eight variation selections here and you've got the eight variation patterns up here. When you press the current button, whatever variation you play up here is the one you will be currently editing. So make sure you keep note of this because sometimes you might be editing something, you might not be hearing the changes, you might be editing a different, a different variation than the one that's actually playing. So make sure that this current button is always selected. Now one of the really cool things about a, a real TB303 is that if you take out all the batteries, let it sit for a while, and then turn it back on, it will generate a bunch of random patterns. So the cloud version of the 303 has pretty much the same feature. Up here on the main panel, it's randomize, uh, generate slash undo, and in the edit window, it's down here, generate slash undo. So you can just press this button and it will randomly generate a pattern for you. And if you don't like that, you just keep hitting the generate button. All right, so this is actually pretty cool. So, but I wanna do some more random accents. So I'm going to disable the pitch and the slide and I'm just gonna randomize the accents and the gate time. That'll work. You can also change the pattern length with last step. You can transpose it by semitone. Or you can rotate it. So basically this will just move back the pattern a step at a time. So we'll put it back to 16th notes.
And if I want to add an accent, I just click on the accent. If I want to add a slide, I just click on the slide. So let's input a pattern manually. I'm just going to click on the first step and then press what note I want it to be. Now I can either just click on the next step or I can use the left and right arrow keys on your, on your computer keyboard and that will move through the steps as well. So I'm going to go to the next step, hit C, and I'm just going to make all of these C. And again, I can just add accents where I want them. I can change the octaves, add a slide, Okay, so I like that pattern. So now we can start dialing in the sound a little bit. Up in the top right hand side, you'll see a little window called panel. And that opens up some new tone controls. So right here, you can change the VCF trim. Now, one of the main reasons a lot of TB303 sound different is because the VCF trim is set to different values. So some 303s will squelch a little harder than others will. That is due to the VCF trim controls here. So you can change this and emulate any 303 that you want. You've got a master tune, so you can make it kind of slightly out of tune if you want. And then you've got the condition knob. Now the condition knob works like this. 127 condition is an old 303. So that's basically the oldest components that you can get to play on a 303. As you move the opposite direction, it gets younger. So this would be a brand new 303. This would be an old one. Over here in the effects section, you've got overdrives. And we'll turn it to the depth. And I'm going to leave it on the compressor here. Now you've also got delays. So you can tempo sync these just on and off. And I like, like, I like leaving the tempo sync on. It just keeps it easier. And one of my favorite, and my favorite is just uh, eighth note triplets. So once you get a pattern that you like, you can actually just drag the MIDI information to your timeline. So you just click on the variation that has the pattern that you like in it and just drag it to your timeline. And I don't need to import the tempo information, but here is the pattern of the 303. You can also do this with audio. So you can go to options and change this to drag and drop pattern as audio. So when you drag this to an audio track, there it is. And I'm going to turn off the lock position to DAW. Solo this, loop it. So that's the audio track. Here's the MIDI track. So this is extremely handy because once you have the MIDI data on your DAW, you can drag as many different pattern variations to the timeline that you want. Let's go back to options, set it back as MIDI, and you can drag in another pattern. And I don't need to import the tempo information. So now you can play one pattern after the other.
So that is extremely handy and very flexible. So let's check out some of the different effects in here. So we've heard the delay. Uh, there's also panning. There's also chorus. Here's the second chorus. Here's the flanger. And then there's chorus and delay. So with these effects in here, the condition knob and the VCF trim and master tune, you can emulate a number of different sounding 303s.